Hello, I'm Jamie Gallagher and I help make online events and meetings as engaging, inclusive and accessible as possible. If that's of interest to you, then make sure you click subscribe down below. Today, I'm going to be tackling one of the most common questions I get about OBS. How do you get sound from OBS into Zoom or Teams or another platform? It does involve an extra little step and that's what I'm going to be going through today. If you're not familiar with OBS, I've made previous videos about how you can use that to uh, use a virtual camera into your Zoom or Teams meetings, to play videos, to upgrade your graphics and make things just a little bit more fancy. But today we're going to be looking at how you get sound from OBS into Zoom. Let's get started. Now you will need to download an extra piece of software before we delve into OBS. You're going to need a virtual audio cable. And that's just something that is going to connect OBS to the other platform that you're using. These VB audio uh, cables are used a lot. I don't use them myself, but I hear they work pretty well. You can get them from Mac or PC and you can download them for free. So step one, download a virtual audio cable. If you're interested in the one I use, I use Black Hole 16 channel. I'm not saying that's the best one. It's just the one I started off with. Lots of different audio cables are available. So download virtual audio cable. Next step, let's jump into OBS. So here we are back in OBS and we've got a blank canvas and that's where we'd add any images or videos that we might want to see through our virtual camera. And now we're going to be able to connect sound into Zoom or Teams. For that, to get started, let's add some sound in. So I'm going to go to Sources and I'm going to go to Audio Input Capture. So I'm just going to add in my Blue Yeti mic that's just sitting in front of me. So Device, Blue Yeti and OK. So now if we look down to the bottom of the audio mixer, we can see that the levels are bouncing because I've added that mic. Zoom would not currently be able to hear that. So what I need to do is I need to go down to the gear icon and I click Advanced Audio Properties, which will bring up this separate menu. The important part here is to look to Audio Monitoring, and any device that you want to export the sound for, you look to it and you click Monitoring and Output. So we've got our Blue Yeti mic, that's that first one there, and we've set it to Monitor and Output. That means that another program will be able to monitor the sounds that it is creating, and we can click Close. Second step inside OBS is to go up to your preferences, uh, open up the preference menu and go to audio. Now we need to set our monitoring device and this is where you want to connect to your virtual audio cables. So for me, that's Black Hole 16 channel. Uh, that is my monitoring device and I can click OK. So what this currently means is the setup I have right here is OBS is pulling in the feed from my Blue Yeti. It is then allowing another program to monitor the sound that's being created. And in the audio settings, the program that is monitoring the sound is my virtual audio cable. So OBS to virtual audio cable. Now we need to go virtual audio cable to Zoom. So here we are in Zoom. And what we need to do now is have Zoom listen to our virtual audio cable because that is going to be both output and input. So we look down to the bottom left hand corner for our microphone options and you click the little up arrow. That gives us a list of all the microphones and all the speakers that we can use. We want uh, Zoom to be listening to our virtual audio cable, so we select the microphone as being that cable. So in my case, Black Hole 16 channel. Now Zoom is listening to OBS because the two are connected through that virtual cable. If you're using this to play music or have some other sound that is not voice, you're going to want to make sure that Zoom is playing the original sound. Zoom is geared up to listen to voice. So if you're playing music, it will distort the music trying to find that voice. If you can, the option is sometimes enabled in the top left hand corner and you click turn on original sound. And that means it won't distort music while it looks for a voice. If you can't see that option in the top left hand corner, extra little step, go up to Zoom, Preferences, Look in your audio options, scroll down to show in meeting option to enable original sound. That's a really important step if you are using your microphone for something other than voice. If you're just using voice, you may as well just use uh, turn off the original sound because it's going to help your voice quality come across really clearly anyway. So it's an extra little step if you're using this for non voice content. And that's it. OBS is now connected to Zoom through a virtual audio cable. Just to recap on that, you need to download a virtual audio cable. 
you go into OBS and you make sure all of your sound sources are set to output and monitor. You set your monitoring device as that virtual audio cable and then you jump into Zoom or Teams or whatever program you're using and select the microphone as being your virtual audio cable. So that virtual cable is being used as an output from OBS and an input into Zoom or Teams. One last little point to bear in mind, when you are in OBS, make sure all of your sound is set to monitor and output. It's very easy to miss one and it will then be silent in Zoom. Go through each one, click on that gear icon, monitor and output for all your microphones, all your videos and all of your music. I hope that helps. If you've got any questions, thoughts, comments, then leave them below. If there's any other Zoom-related problems that you're having, let me know and I'll happily make a video on them. Best of luck.